Good morning, beautiful people out there in the beautiful world. Yes, I'm in a great mood. I'm so tired, but you know what? It's okay. It's a good tired. It's an accomplished tired. It's a, I had too much caffeine tired from last night. <laughs> so yeah, I was like trying to go to sleep at a decent time, like 10.30ish or so, and uh, I just could not do it. I tried so hard. I laid in bed. I relaxed. Had the lights off, and then I went, oops, forget this. So I started watching some people on YouTube <laughs> to catch up a little bit. I used to do that a lot during the school year because that was one of the few times that I could actually just be still and watch things. But uh, then I became too tired to stay awake to watch anything at night. So last night I'm like, yeah, I'll just watch some YouTube. So I did, and I caught up on a few people. And um, also, I mentioned yesterday, I think, in my vlog, that I was watching people while I was cleaning up my room, too, which is really cool. Because I have that big interactive whiteboard that I can project stuff off my computer. So, sorry, I'm sure I'm passing okay here. Um, I'm on my way to school. Anyway, yeah, I can watch people on my board. It's like a giant, like a huge screen TV or like a theater screen. So it's really cool. Anyway, I thought, hey, let's use this to my advantage. I can watch YouTube people and get some work done at the same time. So it's a win-win. Really cool. Anyway, so I watched, I don't, it wasn't Janice's latest video because I haven't caught up to her, all of her videos because she puts out a lot of content and it's awesome. And I, I want to watch them in order. So the last one I watched was her puppy grooming one, my little fur nephews and niece. <laughs> um, Auntie Jennifer thinks you're gorgeous and so, so cute, even though you're rotten. I have the same problem with my fur babies. They're rotten and they're cute and that's how they stay alive. Yes. Anyway, um, Janice, I just wanted to do a shout out to you because, my goodness, you are the sweetest thing ever. You did not have to do all those wonderful things for me and give those lovely gifts. I will enjoy them, however. <laughs> I'm looking forward to receiving them. How beautiful is her little heart? She just brings a tear. Yes, I have made some really awesome connections through YouTube. It really is a wonderful community. And so there are some people that I would just love to hang out with in real life. And she's one of them. Yeah. So thank you so much for thinking of me and for this the awesomeness that you're sending my way. I cannot wait to open it and share it with everyone that didn't already see it on your video. That's really sweet of you. Um, so that's kind of motivating me to get some more things done. Because then I can maybe be home when it comes. <laughs> yeah. So today's Tuesday, June, I don't know, 12th, I think. I'm already like losing track of what day it is. Yeah. Like I know the day of the week pretty much most of the time, but I don't always know the date because I'm not looking at the date every day like I used to during school because that really was the thing I kept up on. That's really a teacher thing. It really is. It's not even funny because it's so true. Yeah. Anyway, teacher brain on summer break, you lose track of where you are and what you're doing, which is okay sometimes. My daughter's going to stay home today and just kind of do stuff at home. I did ask her if she would vacuum the upstairs for me. That would be really awesome. And she said, sure, I can do that. And we'll see if she remembers. Her not doing it won't be because of she just didn't want to. It will be because she just forgot. So we'll see if that happens. She was going to take a nap after I saw her. <laughs> she woke up super early. After going to bed super late like me, we chatted a little bit on texting <laughs> at like 1 a.m. Because, yeah, dork here should have drank her iced coffee like at 6 o'clock last night. That was stupid. Anyway, live and learn, right? Eh. Get, get me going through the night and fall asleep during TV shows, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm hoping to get a lot accomplished today. Since I was planning to leave so early, I uh, asked Caitlin, would you like to go with me? And she's like, ugh, not early. And I'm like, okay, why don't you just hang out at home today, do whatever. You know, just open your plants, chill out, hang out, be a teenager. And I'll go work in my room today, and then on Wednesday, you can come with me, and you can help me with bulletin boards. And she's like, okay. Because really, there's plenty for me to do before I do my bulletin boards. Anyway, I would like to get more things situated. Not everything is put away. <sighs> Honestly, I'm just going to have to decide to stop at a certain point. It's not going to be done to the way I want it done completely everywhere, like my closet. Closet's just gonna have to be what it is for a while because 
I just don't want to spend my whole summer in my classroom. You know what I mean? I want to have some summer. And I don't want to burn myself out before I even start school again. Because I'm probably going to feel a little overwhelmed at the beginning of next school year with all new content to teach. So I don't want to be like, ah, I didn't even have a summer to relax and let my brain chill. So I'm not going to do that to myself. So I've given myself two weeks to finish this week and next week because then summer school's over. That's just, it's just an arbitrary stopping point for me. It doesn't really mean anything. The school's open anyway, all the time. So I can go in whenever I want to. All the teachers have the security codes so we can get in and out, but I don't like to mess with the security code if I don't have to. It's a little alarming. <laughs> yeah. It's a little nerve wracking thinking that you are responsible for the security of the entire building. And we have a large building. It's very expansive. So I just don't like that responsibility. It's a, a little much. Anyway, I did it the other night and it was fine, but I literally had like a pit in the bottom of my stomach <laughs> because I was responsible for setting the alarm. And I was the last one in the building. And so they knew I was the last one to set the alarm. So I was like, oh. Yeah, and you only have a limited amount of time after you set the alarm to get out before it will go off and the police will come looking for you. And it does this little boop, boop, boop countdown. So as soon as that starts, I'm like, ah! <laughs> so I'm like running out of the building so I can close the door real fast. It's so dumb. I'm such a dork. But if any of you go into your school and have to mess with an alarm, I'm sure you feel me right there. Yeah, it's a big responsibility. Anyway, I'm almost to my turn off. Yay. So I'll be at my school in about five minutes. Um, there is summer school still going on for the next two weeks, like I think I just said. I think I'm just rambling because I haven't had anything to eat yet. I've had a cup of tea, though, so I've got some caffeine coursing through my veins. Me. Anyway, I'm hoping to kind of square away some more stuff. Um, probably get rid of some more stuff and also um, just organize my life. I need to go through the bin thing here that's sitting at the bottom of my desk on the floor because it's got like stuff that I would need it's like I don't know that was like my important box that I didn't want to lose I will try to capture some footage of going into my school area because it's really pretty I did show that last year when I was going in to work at my room sometime and I remember smarty style Latanya commented how pretty our school was in the little drive there and I agree it really is a very pretty area we have lots of pretty trees around here and um, our building is very old it's the old style of architecture and then on the inside they tried to kind of duplicate the new part to the old part so it was seamless and they did a really really awesome job with that some of the construction techniques were a little because mm, they we're finding out they kind of uh, scrape stuff together at the end just to get the school open, like using construction glue to put up bulletin boards that are now falling off the walls. Aesthetically, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Physically, mm, not the strongest structure in some places because of that kind of thing. Like trim and things like that were like glued and taped. Yeah. Maintenance actually is having to go back and fix these little things that are falling apart, which I'm sure they love. But anyway. Here's my drive, I'll show you. Okay, I'm coming at it from a different angle this time. But here's my drive. Look at this. Look how gorgeous the tree, the building. And the trees and everything. How pretty. We're gonna go around the back of the building so I can unload my stuff. I left a little rolly cart right by the bus doors inside by the elevator. So I'm hoping I didn't mess anybody up because I'm coming early enough. It's 8 to I can't imagine them needing it for now, but it may be on the hunt for it. I don't know. We're going to go up here and dump some stuff off, and then I'm going to park back here. I just saw one of the custodians bringing stuff to the dumpster. Okay, I'm just going to unload some stuff and then go down to the elevator. I think I'm actually going to put the thing in the elevator and then get on the elevator on a different floor so I can meet my stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's a bus parked here. It's always parked here for some reason, for summer school. Okay, I'm going to get some stuff unloaded, and I'll check back in with you when I get to the room. Nope, plan B. Apparently, they did need the rolly cart because it is not here. So, I'm going to turn around here and go the wrong way. Yeah. 
super quick so I don't get run over by anybody that might be coming through here, which there shouldn't be anybody, but just in case I might get parked. I'll just go in the other way because I can't park up here anyway. I'm also just schlep my stuff this way and park. I'm going the wrong way. All right, I will see you when I get inside. Hi, I made it to my classroom. Oh my goodness. It was quite a journey carrying three stools, a bag, a purse, a tripod, and those um, foam pieces for the mat on the floor. But I made it. My arm is a little sore, <laughs> but it'll be okay. I thought I was going to drop something at one point. Oh, I also brought my water. Yeah. But I'm here. I'm good. I put everything down and I'm going to get to work. So I will show you my progress as I go. Hello, it is like 20 to five and I am ready to go because I am tired <laughs> and tomorrow's another day of working. So let me show you the progress I made and I kind of explain things along the way. I've moved some things from one side of the room to the other. So not really progress necessarily, but more organization. And then I put some things up and I've gone through some things and I'll just show you. Here we go. Okay. I organized this a little bit. I pulled my bulletin board stuff out. So this goes on the hallway bulletin board and this is that pineapple banner Oops, that's going to go here yeah. this is not going to stay here I just didn't want to lose it I found a whole bunch of band-aids so I thought I'd stick them in the band-aid box and then I found my little pineapple hanging thing and then this needs to go to my old first grade room because it belongs to first grade I've been trying to find the rest of those I think I've got them all and then there's some more foundations cards that I found when I was cleaning this out so I was going through all my chart paper. I have a gazoodle pads of chart paper. So yay me. I shouldn't run out anytime soon. I need to make more anchor charts. That's what that tells me. <laughs> this is a box of books that I went through, teacher books, and I decided I would never, ever, ever, ever need them. So I'm going to donate them and put them in the lounge. There's a whole bunch of paper I found, and underneath is a whole bunch of centers. So I'm going to donate that too to the lounge. This hasn't really changed since yesterday. That is a recycling box. And the other one, I think I showed you yesterday, is under there. And then the offices for privacy, like testing, are inside that desk. Oh, I also put a um, fabric cover over those three drawer carts. They were looking a little gnarly. Plus, I don't want the kids to get into those all the time. So I kind of just covered up and make them kind of cool. I can always take it off if I don't like it. But for now, it's kind of nice that it's covered up. I have three trash cans. I'm like, okay. And then I have these ginormous trash bags. So I thought, well, I'll just stick them in the trash cans for now because I keep wanting to throw stuff away in them. And then I realized there's no bag in them. This has not changed. This is all the same here. Those are tablecloths that I'm going to use for the backs of the bulletin boards. I think I'm going to do yellow on the ends and then the blue, green, and pink on the middle. I can't find those right now. I bought them like a couple weeks ago. So they're probably in the closet. Okay, this is still a hot mess. I did organize this thing, but I need to go through all of these. That would be a really good job for Caitlin, actually, because all you have to do is match the sticker on the back of the book with the label on the box. If it doesn't match, it doesn't go there. Okay, one thing I did do is I found some AR level books already. And so I put them in the color bin of their level. So blue dot books are going in the blue bins. Green dot books are going in the green bins and so forth. Now there are orange dots and I don't have orange bins. So that's what this yellow bin is. I may just put like an orange thing on the outside of that one so kids can go right to it. But these are just books that are already AR leveled. I think the rest of these I may leave in their genres and then kids can go, ooh, I'd like to read about animals. Let me find a, an animal book that's on my dot level rather than let me go to my dot level and see if I can find a book I wanna read. Cause I'd rather them pick a book of interest in the genre that they're looking for. This hasn't really changed either. I did angle my library in. I think I may have done that yesterday though. Yeah, this is new, this mat. I got this in the mail yesterday that I showed you when I opened the box. So I just kind of made it a, a long rectangle and then I just kept my cushions here. I'm going to get new bean bags, I think too. 
to put here also because the other ones are a little nappy. I've had them for 10 years and they're very flat. So I might get them poofed up. I don't know. You, I've heard that you can put Walmart bags, like plastic shopping bags in them to poof them up. So we'll see if I can get enough of them. I don't know. Anyway, so there's that. I thought that was kind of cool that I had the right color bins for those. And then I don't think I've ever talked about these because I don't really use them. I might use them in second grade more though. Those are for writing. So the green pen is like the rough draft. The red is corrections. The blue is adding details. Yeah, then you can kind of see what's going on. And then teachers use purple. And so it's all color coded. It's kind of nice. That little crate has different little writing flip books for, to give kids ideas. So like this, I think, I want to say Cupcake for the teacher made this little set of printables. And then you just put them in like a photo album. So I was going to make a whole bunch of these and just didn't do it. But there's little flippy books. I think I got these from the dollar spot at one time. But just to give them ideas for story starters, I thought that would be kind of cool. All the way back. And then these are little spelling dictionaries. I have enough for the whole class. I made them one year for summer school, I think, and never used them. So, hey, I can use it for my second graders. I need to organize all this still, of course. I found some more math stuff. I'm going to store it behind because these are double-sided. I moved the big book thing over. I got rid of that big tub of chart paper and big stuff. And then I organized this. I did move this. It was over there. So I moved that. And then all these were in the cubbies. These are all leveled books. And it goes from the bottom to the top. So I can use those for guided reading. I found my bucket fillers bucket. Finally, there it is. It was in that bin of stuff. So there we go. These are little word games the kids can play, and those are some books that don't have levels, and I don't know what they are, so I just stuck them there. Um, these are all little games we can play during reading groups. I found some bingo daubers. I have the kids mark their sight word books with those when they pass a list. This has not changed, but back here has changed. I've got some stuff back here for guided reading. I moved this from here over so I could get this little basket and put markers and pens and stuff for me. And then the things I need for guided reading, like reading response papers and my guided reading lesson plans and then my testing binder. And these are little games that I found when I was playing stuff out. Here are some echo microphones that the kids can use when they're reading. That'll be fun. And there's my little pineapple light that I turn on when they should not disturb me. I found my beautiful Mr. Sketch markers, my extra set. So I thought that'd be good. I'm probably going to put like a little easel back here too so I can write things. I found my power bar and so now I can have this pencil sharpener here, my little light and my Scentsy. And then here, I haven't attached anything to the wall yet because I'm not exactly sure where I want it to be, but I thought that might be a nice place to put it kind of up here so the kids could see it. I was going to put it maybe over here, but then I decided eh, nobody would see it over there. Okay, all this stuff's put away down here. These are some more things that are going to be hung. Sorry, the lighting is kind of goofy because the sun's going down. But this is all cleaned up. And yes, you've got a little sneak peek of my lanterns. I got those put up. I'll back up in a little bit so you can see the whole thing. That's the same. I kind of organized a little more. I found some more games. I put them on the shelf and kind of shuffled things around a little bit. I, a couple of my big books I found, they won't fit in the big book thing. And these are ones I use when I teach plants. And... Um, there's also the little old lady who swallowed a bat. So I like to read that. Halloween time. I organized my desk. Because look, this bin, big bin of stuff gone. And I put stuff out that I'm going to use. This little chart, you can put file folders in. I did have it here in my old room on hooks. And I went, hey, what if I put it here? because then it's easier access. So I could attach little hooks to the side of my little Michaels drawers and hang it here and it fits nicely there. So I think I might do that. I found some more stuff that I want to put up and then I found my little first day of school thing where you just write on it. I would probably just superimpose it on the computer after I take the picture, it'd be easier. That's not different. Um, let me see my desk now. I organized. My lamp is plugged in. I grabbed my big extension cord and ran it 
from back there around and through and under <laughs> so I could plug my lamp in. Those are pillows that I don't want to get nasty dusty. This is a pineapple that I got from Five Below. And this is similar to that, but it has a saying on it. So I'll just have to wait and see what it looks like because I don't want to get it all gross. So I thought I'd just leave it in the bags till I come back for real school. Then I have some bins up here where I can put some teaching books and things I want to grab. I grabbed a couple of these so I could put teaching materials. Right now, all of that stuff is stuff that needs to go up on the walls somewhere. So I put it all together and all my magnets are in there. I put a few things up on the board. I'm going to change my jobs thing. I've had that forever. I think I want something new. And then you'll notice this used to be over there. It was right there. And then the bookshelf was here. But I didn't like the way it looked. And so I'm like, oh, I kind of need the stuff on the bookshelf for reading. And when my reading stuff's back there, that'd be kind of silly to have it over here. You know, I put it together. So anyway, that makes more sense to me. These things are things that need to be hung. That's my super improvers thing that's going to go on the same wall. And then I think I might put my math rotation thing on this wall. This wall is longer in this classroom. Strange. So that's cool. And then this is not where it's going to go. But for right now, I just stuck this pocket chart up here with magnets. And then I thought, hey, the kids could use magnets to make words and make sentences on the side of this file cabinet. There's a lot of space. Why not use it, right? Okay, I went through this bin. I actually broke it when I tried to move it. So I stuck it on that little rolly thingy so I could move it around easier. It's got a whole bunch of binders and books. And I went through them and got rid of the ones that I was never, ever going to use and kept the ones I thought I would use. These are some stuffed animals that go with some writing units and things, like when we study animals. This is actually used as a riser for when Caitlin puts the books up here. We got McDonald's the other day and she goes, hey mom, save that drink carrier because it's a good thing when I'm putting books up, I can lift things with them. I went, oh yeah, that's great. So I saved that for her. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these here or not. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. This looks different. This used to have a blue lid and I went, hey, I bet I have a container just like it with a yellow lid, then it would go better. And it does, I like it, it looks more pineapple-y. So this is all put together. I got rid of those boxes. And if you remember, I had a whole bunch of shelf pieces up here from inside these cabinets, shelves like this and longer ones. And I'm like, what am I gonna do with all those? So I decided I would hide them behind stuff. So I put some back here behind this cubicle unit. <laughs> and I put some back here behind these things. And I put some back behind the file cabinets. See? Because <laughs> I don't know where I was going to put them otherwise. They're huge and they're very heavy. So that's kind of cool. Let me give you a whole bird's eye view. Oh, I've cleaned out the cubbies too. Um, this is paper that Caitlin's been using to mark stuff that we don't want in here. Um, every kid has a treasures book, the first book now. I might put the second book in there too underneath. Because I'm going to take home the white ice bin so I can wash them in the dishwasher. And those are going to be their book bins. And those are going to go on top with their folders, their take-home folders. Those are all dictionaries. I think those will have to go on the bottom too, possibly. I don't know. I don't know how it will fit with their backpacks and things. We might be able to stack something here, maybe with their backpacks and coats in there. We'll have to just see how it fits. Those are empty boxes. These are trash boxes. So I've been using those instead of the trash can. Let me give you a 360 here. Oh, I raised the leg, the little, not really the legs, the little screw in parts where you can kind of balance the table. Those legs don't move up and down, so I can't make it taller. So I'm thinking about getting bed risers for that to make it taller and this one too. But I cleaned all those stools as you saw earlier, they were so gross. They've been in my garage for like six years. So that'll do it. I'm going to get a few more desks. I think I'm going to get four more desks and make uh, a group of four and a group of four. And I think that'll be enough seating because I also have floor seating too. But here's what everything looks like right now. I have a ton of empties that I need to do something with. This cabinet is all empty except for one box of fruit snacks. <laughs> that cabinet is all empty except for I have, I'll just show you, I have a couple of 
baskets in here holding some math things for games. Whoop, can't get a hold of the handle. There we go. I wanted to turn them the other way, like this, but it doesn't close that way because this sticks out just a little bit too much. So anyway, that's all right. So I've got like pattern blocks in here and I've got dice in here for games. And these are actually going to be the um, math rotation baskets. I just need to figure out where to put them. I was thinking maybe I would just have a desk because those chairs are not going to be there. I could have a desk like this and just have the baskets across the desk maybe. I don't know if they'll fit. We'll have to see. We'll figure something out because I don't want to have to get them out and put them away all the time. It'd be nice to have a place to put them and just leave them. Anyway, that's what it looks like so far. Oh, there's my lanterns over there too. I got those hung and I got those hung. Now you can see kind of the whole thing. Kind of cool. It's starting to look like home, isn't it? Now when I get the bulletin boards up, that's really going to add some color because right now everything's beige. So that's, oh, I cleaned all those out today too. And I cleaned my desk out. Yay. I got rid of some really nasty old snacks. I changed the light bulbs in those so all the bulbs work. <laughs> all my lamps are working now, so yay. Alrighty, I am going to say good night, and I will check back in with you tomorrow and let you know what's going on in the room then. Bye. Good morning. It is Wednesday, and it's about 5.30 a.m. Yes, you heard that right, 5.30 a.m. I woke up to the sounds of a cat fight on the deck, which... Yeah, it was a little alarming, so I got up to investigate. I didn't really see anything, so whoever it was ran off, but I found some evidence. Ugh. So one of them, I've noticed when they get scared, they uh, leave a nasty pile of stink behind, and I cleaned that up. That was really gross. So I fed the two that were out there, and I fed my inside little friends, and they're just kind of moseying along, taking their time eating their breakfast. So then I just pop on here and say, good morning. I made a cup of tea in my favorite Lynn Daniel mug, and I thought I'd show you all the things I threw in the dishwasher last night. <laughs> Some of the bins I brought home actually were not dirty because they had been inside other bins, and so I have a stack of them over here on the counter that I'll show you. But all of these went through the dishwasher because seriously, the last time I used these was like 2010. So they've been stored away for a very long time. I'm gonna bring them back and use them. So there's those, and here are these ready to go. A few of these I had already washed and they were dry because I can only put a few in the dishwasher at a time because of their bulkiness. But I also am bringing some hangers. These are the kind of hangers that my husband's uniforms come on because they have they go through a company that supplies the uniforms and cleans them for them. So I asked him if I could have some wire hangers so I can hang my jackets and things up in my closet on those hooks. And then I found these when I was cleaning them today. And I thought, hey, I had gotten some of those little plastic divider containers from Dollar Tree to put money in. So I thought that I would divide those out. So I'm going to leave these here. But for now, I just stuck them in here so that the cats wouldn't knock them on the floor. Here's my awesome tea in my favorite mug. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Alrighty, I'm just going to go poke around on Instagram and YouTube and probably Facebook in a little bit, maybe Pinterest, until my husband gets up in about an hour. And then I'll have breakfast with him, probably get ready. Then Caitlin maybe will be up, and then we can go to my classroom and get something done today. So I'll see you later. I came downstairs, not relaxing. I'm like, I've got things I can do. I have a whole pile of things to laminate. <laughs> so I'm gonna laminate until my peeps get up, and then I can have some human contact again. So I am laminating those awesome free pineapple numbers that I found. And I don't remember if I linked them last time, but I'll try to remember to link them this time in case I didn't. In case you want to use them. They're pretty cute. And I think they're going to be perfect on those bins that I just washed for books. Right now I'm also cutting out the um, banner for the Unlock the Classroom back to school version. Because that's a lot of wasted paper. I don't want to laminate all that paper. So I'm thinking... Since I'm cutting these out, I can probably get two of these to a page rather than one and save some lamination. I did get a couple of boxes of lamination pouches 
um, from Amazon because they had them on sale. If you watch, they put them on sale pretty regularly. So kind of keep your eyes peeled. Kind of check back every few days to see. And then we should let each other know also. I always, I always try to post that kind of stuff on Instagram when I see it. So if you're not on Instagram, you might want to get on there because a lot of stuff happens on there that's pretty darn cool. I'm such a multitasker. I can't just sit here and laminate. I'm watching YouTube at the same time, of course, because, you know, you got to let the lamination run through before you can put another sheet in. But I'm also working on putting my, uh, some of my teacher stuff, whoop, it's falling off my lap, putting some of this into sleeves that I finally remember to bring home. So I'm getting, like, my right on overview put in sleeves so I can put it in my big second grade binder. I also went through my Teachers Pay Teachers products and put little thumbnails of all of the second grade stuff that I have. Mostly from Amy, I think this is all from Amy Lemons. But all of this stuff and I organized it by math and ELA. And then I love Perfect Blend teaching fonts. And so she, I have the whole bundle and she keeps adding more because she does stuff on Fridays right now, which is awesome. So I went ahead and printed out what all the fonts look like too. Because when they come up in my font list, they're so tiny, I can't read them. <laughs> so I thought, hey, let's just put this in there. Because I like to use her fonts on a lot of my products and just things that I print out for me. And so I've got that I want to put in there. And then I've got my list of STEM materials to make my STEM bins. And what else do I have in here? Oh, my, one of my back to school things, which is where have you been, I think is what it's called. Um, this is by Around the Campfire, and I will try, sorry, this is, there's just lots of rooted reading stuff. I will try to remember to link it below for you because it's a really cute unit that you can do for back to school, and it's not something everybody does. So I'm doing something different this year since it's second grade. I was going to do this last year, and I just changed my mind, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to do Amy Lemon's um, math tools thing, which I'll link below, and also, like, the, um, like I said, the unlock your classroom back to school. Good morning again. I'm in my kitchen, as you can see. I got everything laminated. Hello, boo. And I'm just cutting stuff out with my little slicer here that I got from like Hobby Lobby, I think. And I'm cutting out the little pineapple numbers to put on, put on these things. Put them here for the kids. Book bins. So I've almost got one set done. I've got, yeah, there are four sheets in each set. And so I printed out three sets. Don't have a clue why she's doing that. Anyway, I'm on my last page of my one set. So I've got, I just cut them in a random order. So I've got like 1 through 12 and then 19 through 24. And then I've got 13 through 18 here. They're just laying there. So I just cut them like that. Anyway, I'm going to get them all cut out and then put them in this Ziploc bag. I love Ziploc bags. They're great for everything. And then I've got these labels for my math bins that I want to cut out to relabel for second grade. And then, there are 10 of those. And then I've got my write-on labels. I want to put on those rainbow-colored Michaels drawers that I have over by my desk. And then I've got my rooted in reading labels too that I want to put on the other set of Michaels drawers that are by my desk. So maybe I can get that done while Caitlin's still sleeping. It's like almost 8.30 and she's a teenager. So she's still asleep. She probably stayed up really super late. And uh, even when I stay up super late, I still wake up early because, you know, you just get used to waking up really super early and then you're tired later. So I just thought I'd get some stuff done this morning and then maybe I can get some stuff labeled in my classroom. Hey, baby. And uh, feel more accomplished because I, I don't know why I was frustrated with yesterday's stuff. I don't know. You keep going. Thank you. I think I was feeling a little discouraged a couple days ago because I didn't feel like I was making a ton of progress. I mean, I did, but it was mostly like inside things where you couldn't see it. Like I knew I'd done it. I'd cleaned stuff out like drawers and my desk and stuff like that, but it's not stuff you can see. So it was like, did I make any difference in here today? <laughs> not to the naked eye, but as far as getting rid of things, yes, I made a lot of progress. So thank you for the encouraging words that I've already gotten on the video that came up this morning. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the great comments that you've left me, the encouraging words, and the uh, motivation to keep going. So I am planning to get a lot done today too. And then probably tomorrow, 
Hello. She keeps coming by. Tomorrow, um, Caitlin and I are probably going to go shopping for some Father's Day goodies. I have no idea what she's doing. She just keeps pacing back and forth. Anyway, Caitlin and I are going to get some Father's Day things together. And then um, kind of plan out what we're going to do for Dad this weekend. So... I will probably check back in with you whenever I am in my classroom later. Hopefully, Caitlin will wake up soon so half the day isn't gone. All right, see you then. Hey, update. It is about 9 o'clock, like two minutes till 9. I've got all my numbers cut, all three sets of the numbers. So 1 through 24, three sets worth. Yay. I got my math bin, one of those latch box labels cut. And I got my rooted in reading and my write-on labels all cut. These are actually made for binders for the little spine, but uh, I think they'll work great on those Michael's cart drawers. We'll see when we get to the classroom. But I've uh, just been watching, um, putting forth effort, her packing up her classroom video, because it's kind of motivated me to get back into my classroom and do more stuff, honestly. So that's gonna go in the take pile. We'll stick it up here in this. Pile. Look at this. <laughs> Check out. That's all my lamination scrap. <laughs> Pikachu was laying in that while I was cutting because he loves to chew on lamination. So I gave him a couple little scraps. But um, really, these are too small to do much of anything with. I mean, yeah, I suppose kids could use these for a bookmark, but honestly, they fall out and they end up on the floor. I like to give kids sticky notes, like the little ones, like the fourth size for, for their bookmarks because they can put their name on the sticky note and stick it on their book if it's oversized and it doesn't fit in their cubby so people know it's theirs or to save their page and it doesn't hurt the page and everybody knows it's their book so it's kind of cool all right i'm gonna get rid of this trash and i think i'm probably just gonna go relax for a little bit and um watch some more youtube and just enjoy my morning and hopefully i don't fall asleep because i'll probably be really groggy if i do all right i'll catch you later Forgot to mention, we well, obviously saw this, but things that need to stay in order, I always put like in a sandwich size bag. And then I'll take, you know, I rubber banded these together. I put all of the stuff together in one giant bag. That way it's all together. So it's either all lost or all found. Yeah. All right. There. Now it's all nice and safe. We're ready to travel. Hi. Sleeping Beauty finally awakened, and we're getting ready to head to the gas station because my car is very low on gas. Probably grab something to eat from McDonald's on the way and then go to my classroom and get some stuff done. So we were driving out, as a matter of fact, and Caitlin goes, Oh, crud, I didn't water my carnivorous plants. And I went, Do you want to? And she's like, Yeah. I'm like, Okay. So I just loop back around and we parked. And she goes, Oh, but I can also say hi to Freaky. That's our, one of our outside cats that likes to hang out in the front because she's not really uh, fond of the other cats. So she kind of does her own thing. She's very sweet with people, though. And she would make a great inside cat if she didn't have claws. But, you know, she'd be kind of a bully if we took her inside. So she hangs out out here with the plants and really enjoys just soaking up the sun and the shade. So Caitlin's about done. Then we can head out. I have high aspirations for today's work session. So we'll see how much we get done before we get pooped out. Yeah. Oh, I was informed by Caitlin that having the bow thing on top of my head looked like I was wrapped up like a present. <laughs> I went, oh, okay. <laughs> so I slid it to the side and I do think it looks better this way. Okay, here comes Caitlin. We're going to get ready to head out. See you there. Hey, Caitlin and I made it to our classroom. I'm just heating up my McGriddle that I got from McDonald's because I didn't want to try to eat it while I was driving because I'm not that coordinated. <laughs> it's kind of pretty outside. Look. Nice and sunny. We're going to try to get bulletin boards done. Caitlin's working on one of them right now. It's kind of a pain because those plastic tablecloths get very staticky and bubbly. <laughs> so you're constantly having to staple smooth, staple smooth, staple smooth. But it's going to be great once it's done. I had to pull, <laughs> you have to discombobulate everything to get stuff done. So I had to pull a whole bunch of stuff out of the closet. So it doesn't look so great right now. But it will look better when I get done. So that's my saving grace. All right, I'm going to eat my breakfast and get back to work. Show you the progress in a little bit. Ah, bulletin board beautifulness. Woohoo! Hi.
Hi, it is like 10 till 6, and we got a lot done today thanks to Caitlin. She got all of the bulletin boards done pretty much by herself. I just handed her a few pieces at the end, but it is done. I just need to put things on the bulletin boards later, but I'm not exactly sure what I want up there, so that can wait till next time. Let me show you what it looks like. Thank you.